to the Royal Daily Tea. So it has been a very stressful and interesting last couple of days. If you're not aware, I do live in Central Texas. And last night we had a tornado. And it actually hit my hometown, which is very, very rare. We do have tornado warnings a lot, but a lot of times they'll hit a couple towns, you know, near us, but not usually in our hometown very often. And my dad is a senior citizen. He lives in a retirement community. And a tornado actually hit across the street from where he lives. We are very grateful that he is okay. Unfortunately, the people who lived across the street, there was about five houses where they lost their roofs. Very, very devastating. A lot of businesses have been completely destroyed. It was just really weird and random that we got a tornado in our hometown, but I'm grateful that most people seem to be okay. So that kind of started off uh, the news. And then, of course, today we found out that, well, Sue Smith, along with Yankee Wally, has been removed from YouTube. Now, we all know they have been targeted by a certain group of people that we will not mention. And it's very, very scary. It's an attack on free speech. And so for me as a creator... Uh, who's in the same kind of genre, it does make me have to second guess, you know, my content and my future. Now, to be honest with you, I'm sure you've all noticed, I've kind of been changing my content, adding in a little bit of diversity, because to be honest with you, I love the Royals, and I want to cover more of the other Royals besides H&M. So I've been putting out a lot of positive pro royal family content because I believe it's very very important to get it out there and I enjoy sharing it. Now I've been testing out different kinds of video formats, long videos, short videos, kind of changing up the content and I'm finding that you guys are really really enjoying the positive um, pieces as well as the H&M and the royalty. So I'm going to be adding a little bit more variety into my channel and I hope that you will stick with me because I know a lot of you are here strictly for the H&M news but I do have quite a few new subscribers. I've gained about 2,500 new subscribers in the past two months and I believe a lot of you are here because of the positive uh, pro royal family pieces that I've done. I have a three minute video on Kate and William. The romantic moments has over 200,000 views. So I know that you guys are here for that content, but I know that people love the H&M content. I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to change who I am because I believe I play by the rules. However, some of those videos might be a lot shorter. They might not be single content videos. It might just be stuck with a whole bunch of royal news. And I'm going to add a lot of diversity. And to be honest with you, I'd really love to dive a little bit deeper into, you know, exploring other royal families like the European royals, maybe some royal history, some royal folklore, some royal fashion. I have a wide range of interest. Of course, the current events are always the most interesting. And there's an abundance of that kind of news. So, of course, that's what I always cover. So don't worry, we're still going to have the regular, you know, royal daily tea but my really long analytical videos that are 15 to 20 minutes long, those might not be around much longer um, because they're very, very time consuming to make. And with everything that's happening right now, I might be holding back on some of those and making shorter videos that are very diverse. So I hope that you understand. Um, I'm still making my royal content, but it might be a slightly different format. But again, the last couple of videos I do are three to five minutes, and you guys have seemed to enjoy those. So the good news about the shorter videos is I can do more of those and a lot more frequent than having to do the longer videos that take a really long time, sometimes up to three hours to make a 15-minute video. And I just love the RDT family. I just want to wrap all of you in bubble wrap and keep you all to myself and protect you. I mean, seriously, we have a very nice community here. And I don't want to lose my community at all because it would be very, very heartbreaking because I really, truly do just really love each and every one of you. And I just want to keep growing. But even if I didn't grow, I'm just happy with the group of people that I have. My little corner of the world. I'm very happy. 
but please feel free to search for me, guys. I do have a website, royaldailytea.com. I'm also on Getter. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. And I'm on TikTok, all under Royal Daily Tea, one word, very easy to find. And I did open up a Rumble account as well. All of that will be linked in the bio. So if you ever need to find me, you can always search in the bio. All of the links will be there. If not, just go to my website or you can just search for me under Royal Daily Tea. In the future... It could possibly go to where some of my content might have to be split into a different platform, but we're not there yet. So from now on, it's still the Royal Daily Tea on YouTube and nothing has changed. I just wanted to have this little conversation because I know a lot of people were very nervous. But again, we have a very nice community, but I hope that you will enjoy um, the diversified content. And if you have any subjects you would like me to cover, please feel free to put it in the comments because I'd love to be able to bring you a variety of royal content that you would enjoy. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. And anyways, thanks guys for being so supportive and sweet. I just appreciate it. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.